Hi everyone, this is Joanna with Moon Water Tarot and um, these are your April monthly general readings for 2016. Please remember if you would like a private reading with me, you can reach me at moonwatertarot.com. And let's get started. Okay. <laughs> Hi Libra, this is your April reading for 2016. Please remember if this reading does not resonate with you to watch your rising sign and your moon sign. Okay, so let me focus here for a minute. What are the messages? What are the messages for Libra? Let's take a look. We have the two of pentacles, the seven of swords, The Ace of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. Wow, lots of pentacles here. And the Knight of Cups. Okay, let's see what is underneath. Oh my gosh, another Page of Cups. Or another page. Wow. All right, let's see here. Okay, let me move this. Okay, Libra. Well, uh, how apropos that we have the two of pentacles here because this often reminds me of like it's a balancing act and things uh, definitely need to stay in balance. And since you're Libra, that makes total sense. That's at the heart. But I do feel in the upright position that you will be able to. But uh, so we have quite a few people here. When I add everything up, it becomes a 10, which reduces down to one. So I feel like in some ways that with every ending, there's something new beginning. But this is also in my challenge position. Well, I want to start here with the Seven of Swords. Now, every card has its positives and its negatives. In the positive sense, I feel that somebody's trying to kind of hide something or sneak like they're hiding communications or communications are being done behind your back but i feel like it's it's secretive but in a positive way so what do i mean by that it it could be that there's going to be a surprise announcement or a um an offer of some kind, like an engagement um, or a surprise trip, you know, uh, something like that is coming up that's very positive. Or they have an announcement in terms of possibly they're going to, they got into a, a university or school, especially here with the Page of Pentacles. Could even be a birth announcement because I'm getting two like twins and we have two pages here. Maybe somebody finds out that it's not just an announcement of one child. There's two because I'm feeling with the two here in the center that 
there could be twins, you know, something like that. Like, so in the positive sense, in a more not so positive sense, I'm, I feel like somebody is trying to get away with something and with all these pentacles, you know, could be money. It could be also, I'm picking up like pills, like medication. I don't know if there's uh, somebody's pills are slowly being, you know, taken or hidden. And it also could be that there's something health related going on, but they're not telling you about it. Or maybe you're, you've got some health issues, but you know, they're, it's not quite that serious. So you, until you find out more or you discover more, because the seven has to do with uh, discovering and assessing a situation. So until you get more answers or more communications regarding the matter, you're not going to reveal everything. You, you know, you don't want to, you know, there's no need for an alarm bell. It, it, you don't want to share information until you know for sure what's going on. So now in another sense, I feel like this is definitely in terms of a relationship and it could be, sometimes I look at this as almost as promises, like somebody keeps making promises and they're not keeping them. And so things are going, you know, very much back and forth, back and forth. So there could be a situation that looks uh, very promising and maybe because this is in the challenge position and this could be also not just with relationships but in in a work environment maybe somebody was promised a raise or maybe somebody's offered a job um, but see how big this is and the challenge is that it's not quite as big of an opportunity or, you know, something gets reduced. It's not quite what you thought it was. And this could be definitely in career. This could be in work. Um, now, health-wise, this could be very positive. You know, what you thought was something very big is very minute. And it's not alarming at all. So, you know, this is different ways to look at this. Now, for some of you, it could be in terms of a relationship that, you know, make sure that all is what it seems. It's kind of like uh, somebody could be bragging about some situation or, you know, I don't know, like magnifying things that aren't quite you know, this is uh, can be lies and deceitful and not quite telling the truth. And so that things are being um, misled, like the truth is not quite being revealed. So if there is a situation where somebody's going back and forth, back and forth, and this is happening to you and you're not the one doing it, then really kind of take a step back and kind of analyze the situation and then make a decision on what you want to do about it because it's in your hands. I mean, we do have, you know, uh, I feel like the power to some degree is in your hands what you want to do with it. Now, for some of you, I feel like you are definitely going to be traveling in April. You may be traveling for work you may be traveling, uh, and this could be like going back to school is how this is coming across to me. But you may be traveling to go and meet somebody, or you, while you're traveling for work, you meet somebody. Uh, and, and, and this could be that you're traveling because you've been invited somewhere. Uh, maybe you've had an invitation to, I um, could be a graduation or to a wedding or, you know, somebody wants to meet up with you. So, and there may be a decision to be made possibly between two people or two jobs. Maybe you get two job offers and... 
and or you get a job offer you're already employed but money has been kind of up and down maybe this is a commission-based job or like insurance or i don't know where things are just you know um because i'm getting insurance for some why am i getting i don't know if this is around i don't know i'm picking up a lot of water so i don't know if this is i don't it could be flood insurance or or something like that but i feel like there's a situation where that money is being delivered but it's not quite maybe it's coming in smaller amounts instead of all at once or what was promised but there's i i don't i i definitely am picking up insurance so but maybe there's a career that's very much up and down up and down and you're you're it's commission based this could also be like uh, i'm getting vehicles like selling cars or boats or uh maybe it's it's just not it's not um grounded it's not like a salary and so you're going to consider another offer even though it it may not be quite uh as much money as you had hoped it ends up being something uh that you has more growth potential is how it's coming across to me so, but I, I definitely feel that uh, love is in the air. I also feel that some of you may very much even be studying something very intuitive. I'm getting like scrying. So I feel that you may be uh, learning how to scry, which basically uh, scrying and you can scry almost anything and um, scry the crystal ball um you can scry water or tea leaves or shells or stones or you know um uh, anything really uh, so and this may even be like palm reading but i feel like somebody is very much focused or beginning to start a an intuitive spiritual journey in some way is how this is um coming across to me because i'm very focused like on even the third eye so but so definitely new beginnings new beginnings in love new beginnings in career in uh proposals traveling so it's 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 going to be uh i feel lots of growth and uh i think it's going to be a beautiful month for quite a few of you libras so i hope that this uh reading brings you some guidance and thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you soon if you would like a private reading with me you can reach me at my website which is moonwatertarot.com okay thank you so much take care bye